basket. You know this guy? Unfortunately. I was positive it was Bull. No, just someone who's full of Bull. Well, he looks pretty bad. Did I kill him? How could you talk to the cops about me, Ford? How could you do that? Hey. You feel any better? I won't feel any better until I talk to Star. You think she's gonna be able to explain why she ran off with this James guy? I don't know. Or the condom wrapper? Look, I'm not gonna jump to any conclusions until I hear the full story. Okay? Just give me your phone. I'm gonna talk to her right now. Okay, you can relax. He's alive. Well, who's this guy anyway? His name is David Vickers. He's a con artist. He's caused trouble for my Aunt Dorian, my Aunt Vicky, my mom, my dad. Okay, well, do you know why he's here? No, except for that whenever David's around, that always means one thing. Trouble. <sighs> David, hey. Whoa, whoa, hey, what are you wait, doing? Wait. If you wake him up, he's got nothing but questions we don't want to answer. But I can't just leave him here. He's fine, okay? He's gonna wake up on his own. And if Bull comes, this guy can't say that we were here if he never saw us. Fine, okay. I guess anyone with a head as thick as David's would be able to survive this. All right, now let's pick up that car of yours and cash it in. I just really hope that I could get 50000 for it. If not, I don't know how we're going to get Bo off your tail. Don't worry, we're going to make it happen, okay? I know you want to get back to Cole and your daughter. So come on, let's do this. I'm done waiting for Star to call. My phone's out of juice, so... No. What, what's the problem? You let me use your phone before? Yeah, I know, but... I mean, even if you could get in touch with Star in this dead zone... She's gonna freak out if my name shows up on her caller ID. Your name's not gonna show up unless it's programmed in it. You don't even know if she has her phone. There's only one, one way to find out. No, you're still calling out of state. So? So? Cole, you're out on bail. You aren't supposed to cross state lines. I mean, they can track everything these days. If anybody knows that you're in Delaware, you'll be right back in a jail cell. Damn, I can't even use a payphone. Hey, look, I should just head back to Lampview. What? No! Are you crazy? You can't do that. Hey, Vicky. Jeez. What the hell? Hey, Vickers? What happened? Hey, can you hear me? Uh... Oh, Mo, what? Open your eyes. Wake up. Uh, Come on. Wake up. Uh, Charlie. What the hell did you do to me? Your father said he was bringing you by in a couple of hours. Couldn't wait to feast your eyes on that baby, huh? Yeah, it's nice. Nice! That baby is fully loaded. You want to take it for a test drive? The traffic oh, this time of day no, is not much. No, you can I, really, I really see what she... Don't. Thank you. Not to mention the safest car in the world. Your father made sure of that. The old man's pretty overprotective. If I were you, I'd watch my back. <laughs> Good to know. I'll get the paperwork. Didn't really picture you in that SUV. What should I be driving? I don't know, not that. That thing belongs in front of a bank guarded by guys with machine guns. My dad wanted to buy me a good, solid car. What did you expect? I don't know, like a little, you know, V8 convertible, you know? Instead, he picks out a big old giant tank. I'm a mom. I have to drive Hope around. And excuse him if he wants us to be safe. I was just joking, Star. I mean, your dad did great. Must be nice to have someone who loves you that much. When I heard Star and James talking, it sounded like they were going to be away for a few days. Well, she said she needed some time. She's probably not back in Landview yet. Look, I need to talk to her. Especially all, after all the stuff that doesn't make sense. I need to figure out what's going on. Isn't it kind of obvious not, right now? Not until I hear it from her. Look, if, if there was something going on with this James guy, she has to be straight with me. All right, so I'm not leaving here until they get back and we figure this out. Okay. Look, Star is very vulnerable right now. And if, if this guy took advantage of her, if he did anything to hurt her... Then what? He better hope that I don't do the same thing to him that I did to Todd. I want you to be safe too, Star. And you will be. As soon as I can get that money back to Bull, I'm out of here. I'll never have to see you again? No. I'll walk out of your life. Forever. 
Sorry to keep you waiting. Because you are a little early, the paperwork wasn't finished being processed. Uh, no problem. Now, all we need is your John Hancock right there. N no, actually, I'm not here to pick up the car. I need to cancel. Cancel what? Well, I want to take the money that my dad spent on the car and put it towards college. I'm sorry. I'm not following you. I want my money back. Oh, please, don't get all worked up. So, so you, you want me to let some guy try to steal my girlfriend? Star is not helpless. She has a mind of her own. Maybe what you were going through got too hard for her. You want, you want to talk about hard? Hannah, you want to hear a year ago when I got messed up on pills. Star made me want to get better. She made me want, I didn't want to have a life. That's why none of this makes sense. Star's not the kind of person that would run off of some guy she just met. People can surprise you. You know? You think you know them, but you don't. When I told her I didn't want her to visit me in jail anymore, she must have thought that I wanted to break up. Probably. That, that's, that's not. That's not what I was trying to say, though. I, I, I wasn't trying to close a door or anything. She should have known that. You know what they say? When one door closes, another door opens. Maybe this is for the best. You want your money back? It's a great car. It's just that I don't... I don't need it right now. And you know what? She hasn't signed anything yet, so this shouldn't be a problem. Actually, it is. It's been customized. That car is now worth over $60,000. Well, we could always take less because of all the custom stuff. I'd be fine with, what, 50000 Your father's name is on the purchase order, so I have to get his approval. Uh, here's this number right here. I'll give him a call. Seriously going to call my dad? Is there some reason I shouldn't? Do you know Todd Manning at all? Do you know what he does to people who give his family a hard time? I'm not trying to give anyone a hard time. Do you know time. why he bought this car? Because he wants to make his little girl happy. He lives for it. And if his little girl isn't happy, then he's not happy. And trust me, you do not want to see him when he's not happy. So, do you want to give me the money back, or do you want to see what I'm going to have to do about this? What? I'll have to go to Daddy and say bad things about your dealership. And is that really what you want? A front-page story in the sun talking about how you force customers to buy cars that they don't want? No. Do I get my money or not? Look, just because I'm waiting here for Star doesn't mean you have to be stuck, too. You should go. How are you going to get home? Uh, I don't know. Hitchhike? Whatever. I'm not just going to abandon you. Okay. You know the Star has problems with people because he went to the cops about Todd. If you're here when she gets back, it's just going to start off all wrong. And what about her sleeping with another guy? That's supposed to start things off right? I'm sorry, I, I shouldn't have said that. But Cole, I care about you. We're friends. You need a friend right now, so I'm not leaving. Look, you don't have to do that. Yes, I do. You've been there for me. Besides, Somebody has to make sure things don't get too crazy between you and this guy. I won't go crazy. I promise. What about after? What do you mean? When Star tells you that it's over and that she's with someone else. You think I'm going to let you go through that alone? Look, Star may not care what happens to you, but... I do. And I'm not leaving you.